To write the name for Na3P, we first need to recognize that this is an ionic compound. We have a metal and a nonmetal. So we have metal and nonmetal, that's going to be ionic. And specifically, this is binary ionic. We have sodium and the phosphorus atom. So just two different atoms. That makes it a binary ionic compound, and we can use these rules here to write the name. So first we'll write the name of the metal as it appears on the periodic table. Na, that's sodium. Then we write the name for the nonmetal. That's the phosphorus, small p. Once we've done that, we'll replace the ending with IDE. So we get rid of the ORUS, we replace that with IDE. And this is the name for Na3P, sodium phosphide. If you're given the name and asked to write the formula, sodium has a one plus ionic charge. The phosphorus, when it forms a phosphide ion, that's three minus. So you can see we need three of these positive charges to balance out the three minus. This is Dr. B with the name for Na3P, sodium phosphide. Thanks for watching.